Oh, so many Bob Ross brushes, but which ones are good and which ones are bad or you don't even need in your toolbox at all? Well, in this video, I'm gonna go over which one of these Bob Ross brushes you should probably buy and which one you should probably avoid. Let's go. Shouldn't have dropped those. Gotta pick them all up. What is up all you beautiful and creative people? Wild here. If this is your first time to this channel and you need help with tips, tricks, how-tos, or just general inspiration for your creative adventures, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. Yeah, I had to pick up the brushes again. There are so many different Bob Ross brushes. Which ones do you need and which ones don't you need? Well, easy answer, it's the same brush. You do and you don't need the Bob Ross Soft Blender brush. Now you're thinking, well, why do you need it and not need it? Well, let me go over the reasons why you'll possibly want this brush in your toolbox. Oh, the Bob Ross Soft Blender brush. In my opinion, this brush is only made for two types of painters, the very beginner and the extremely advanced painter for wet and wet. Let me start off with the reasons why you'd want this paintbrush if you're a beginner. If you're nervous, if you have anxiety, if you're not really sure how to do things within the wet and wet style, this paintbrush is super clutch. For example, when you drop in clouds and you use a normal number two paintbrush, a lot of times, since you're nervous, you may blend it too far out where nothing stands out, or you actually destroy your cloud because you put too much pressure, you don't know the correct technique just yet. However, when you use the soft blender brush, this thing is so soft on the ends of its bristles here that when you lightly go over your cloud, it's still gonna maintain its shape and just give you that nice blending ability to where you can learn the technique with the soft blender brush and then upgrade to the regular two inch brush. Now, what about if you're an advanced painter? Why would I recommend this brush? Well, if you're gonna put a lot of details and put a lot of planes and put a lot of elements and assets within your painting, for example, perhaps clouds on top of the clouds, clouds in front of mountains, perhaps you're gonna do any ocean spraying or water spraying that goes over rocks or grass or anything like that and you don't wanna destroy the detail that you've put in, this paintbrush is super clutch for that because you can very lightly, again, go in with just the soft bristles and just touch and blend to your heart's content and create that transparent effect, which is great for water sprays or even mist that you wanna put in your trees, which is an advanced technique, which is why I'd recommend this brush. Now you're probably thinking, wow, you're giving all these awesome reasons to own the soft blender brush. Why would you not recommend it? Well, the reason I don't recommend it is because the soft blender brush does essentially the same thing that the two inch regular brush does. If you take enough time to learn the techniques, when you become more confident in your painting and you actually feel everything out and you've learned all the techniques, you can do the same things with the regular paintbrush by just having a nice, soft, diligent touch. Yeah, this thing comes in clutch for some detailed parts, but you know what, to be honest, you can just buy yourself a soft filbert or any type of round brush that does the same thing as this, plus you're gonna have a little bit more control. I figure this more as a unitasker when you can buy other brushes that are gonna be more of a multitasker, which to me, I like getting a better bang for my buck. All right, time to be hypocritical here. Now, do I recommend the Bob Ross Soft Blender Brush? Yeah, I do. If you fall into the categories that we put earlier in this video for a beginner, or an advanced person. Yeah, it's worth getting since it's only coming in around 20 to 25 bucks. But to be honest, if you don't think you're gonna need it, you get away with a regular two inch brush so much more to where you don't need this brush anymore. And to be honest, I kind of forget all the time that I have the soft blender brush because I just reach for this because I feel so confident with a normal two inch brush or even, yeah, a one inch brush, or like I said before, getting a soft filber or round brush. Now, if you're interested in getting the Bob Ross Soft Blender Brush, this thing comes in right around 20 to 25 USD on Amazon. I did you a favor, I put links down in the video description below so that we can click through and buy it if you are interested. By the way, those links help me out. So thank you very much for supporting my channel. You know, it's so weird to make a video on this brush here because I can give you reasons to get it and I can give you reasons to avoid it and put your money somewhere else. I'm curious, do you think you would need this paintbrush? Leave me a comment down below or do you think, hey, just sticking with a regular two inch brush will get you by? I'm really curious in your guys' answer. Since we're talking about brushes, I've got an awesome brush that I recommend for you if you suffer with doing anything landscape or foliage. I'm gonna recommend the Bob Ross foliage brush, which you can find a video right over here to the side because 
This thing is fantastic and I highly recommend it. Check out this video right after this one. And until next time, I will see all of you beautiful people coming up in the next video. Take care and of course, peace. I caught it again. I'm so good at this. <laughs>